Welcome back, everybody. This is Glockman4519, uh, and this is another review of a, a custom ROM. And as you can tell by the wallpaper, uh, this is Vanilla Unicorn, and it is for the Nexus 6. Uh, this is the 11. Uh, it was just released uh, a couple days ago, I think. Um, and again, I would have had it out to you as soon as it was, uh, was released, but uh, remember, guys, I like to try to run it a little bit um, to make sure that everything is, you know, good to go and I don't find anything wrong. Um, I don't test the cameras and show you guys because if there's something wrong with the camera, I usually tell you guys the camera don't work. Um, so, quickly, I am going to uh, go into the camera. Allow, allow. <laughs> All right, there we go. I had to set my permissions real quick. As you guys can see, uh, camera is working fine. Gallery, always. And there you go. Back. All right. Uh, so camera's working, guys. I usually don't do that. Uh, that is one of the reasons why... Uh, I like to run the, the ROM for a couple of days. That way I can tell you guys if it's working or not. Uh, we're going to go into the settings. Don't mind me, guys. I know you're probably going to say, God, that theme sucks. Um, it's my theme. I built it myself uh, because I like the color of the ROM when you first flash it. When you first start this ROM up, it's, it's got one of the, the best-looking startups that I've seen on any ROM ever, bar none. Uh, I like the color of it. Um, it, it would be nice to have a theme uh, that you could, you know, get from the Play Store or even that's built on the ROM itself or from, you know, from their Google community uh, that you could put on and run. Uh, so I kind of tried to mimic it myself by building my own theme. Uh, so bear with me, guys. I like it. You know, you guys can throw on whatever you want. It's mod uh, theme, uh, theme engine on it, so you guys can run whatever theme that you like. Uh, we're going to go to about phone. Uh, as you can, as you guys can see, this is uh, Vanilla Unicorn. Um, it is V11 um, Android uh, version six six dot zero dot one. Uh, it is for the Nexus six. Um, you guys can see the build date is seven eleven. Uh, it does have the July fifth uh, security updates in it, uh, and I am running Blackbird kernel only because I like Blackbird kernel and the features it has. Uh, the kernel that comes with this ROM is an outstanding kernel. Uh, I did flash it with its stock kernel, be, or with its supplied kernel, um, and it runs great. Um, I highly recommend you use that. Uh, but I like Blackbird kernel and the features that it gives me. That's why I run it. Okay, guys? And that's all I'm going to say about that. Um, we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to go ahead and go into the developer options. Uh, you have your developer tools, uh, advanced review, it's going to be right there. Of course, your uh, root access, uh, you can pick whether you want apps only, ADB only, or apps and ADB, which is what hi I highly recommend. Uh, then you do have your Android debugging. Um, local terminal, again, if you guys know what that is, uh, you'll be very happy they have it. They do include that in here. Uh, I like it. Uh, I use it. I'm glad that they included it. And if we run all the way down here to the drawing section... Uh, you're going to see you have the multi-window mode, and then all the way at the bottom, you have your kill app back button. Now I'm going to go ahead and scroll to the top. We're going to go ahead and hit sounds. Uh, these are your sound settings. Uh, I do have my notifications turned all the way down. Uh, these are your other settings. Uh, then you have your vibration controls on the bottom uh, and your vibration intensity. Under display, you have your brightness, uh, your adaptive brightness, live uh, display, uh, rotation, double tap to wake, double tap to sleep, you know, all of that's there, cast, ambient, uh, your wallpaper control uh, interface if you want, which is another nice thing. Uh, if you go with the DU wallpapers, this does come, or not DU, listen to me, uh, vanilla unicorn wallpapers, it comes with its own wallpapers right here. It's awesome. You guys know me and and what I say about custom ROMs and custom wallpapers. It used to be 
uh, back when I was first into flashing custom ROMs that this was one of the reasons you picked the ROM that you did. It ran good, it was fluid, and it had some kick-ass wallpapers. That's why you flashed a ROM. Uh, Pac-Man used to be known for it. Uh, Dirty Unicorn. I mean, they, they used to all be known for this. And it got to the point where nobody, none of them, are giving out any wallpapers. Vanilla Unicorn. Um, and uh, I think, if I'm not mistaken, Broken does. Vanilla Unicorn, Broken, and there's another one. Beanstalk has their own wallpapers. They're the only ones that I can think of at the top of my head that do. And I'm probably missing a couple, but this is a feature that more ROMs need to put in. All right, off my soapbox. Uh, you have your LCD density. Guys, if you're going to change that, make a backup. Uh, Daydream, font size, show search bar, RAM bar. Now, your search bar and RAM bar, that is for your recent settings. Uh, and then, of course, you have your uh, battery light settings and notification lights. You can set them up however you like. This is just how I set them up, and they are working great. Uh, next up, of course, is going to be themes. I'll show you guys the theme I'm running, and I made it. <laughs> so don't laugh. Oh, I'll tell you another good one. Uh, RD3, uh, R3DSs, uh, Frankie T's, Onyx, and Teal. Uh, I was running on here until I made my own. Um, this is another nice theme. Uh, it's a dark theme with, like, a teal look to it. Uh, the Onyx, of course, means black and teal. Uh, it's a very nice theme. It's clean, not over the top outstanding theme to run guys uh, but that's actually what I was running I made two themes myself uh, the one I call VU dark and the other one I just call vanilla unicorn um, and yes I used uh, DIY uh, theme maker for it so um, it's a free app you guys can get from the Play Store uh, and you can just build your own themes uh, it's getting way more complex now so you can you, you can put a lot of time and effort into it which I did I actually took a couple days um, when I first got it I started building this uh, theme uh, so I didn't get any conflicts with it um, and this is what I came up with I also have a dark theme that I built for it uh, it just kind of gives it a little bit of a darker look not much different than what I'm running but just a little darker uh, I am gonna change my fonts to this because I just like the fonts and we're good to go all right Uh, that was themes. We are going to hit notifications next. Uh, you have your heads up. Do not disturb. Uh, you know, when, de when device is locked, app notification, notification access, and of course your filter notifications. Lock screen settings. Uh, screen lock. If you guys run with a screen lock, I don't. Uh, those are going to be your screen lock uh, settings right there. Uh, and they are, of course, your, you know, swipe, pattern, pin, password. Um, I don't run with it. Uh, then you have your live lock screen settings. If you guys like that, it's a great feature to run. Um, I'm not running it. Uh, lock screen message, if you want to put something down, you just type it in there. Uh, like, I'll put Hayes, uh, Hayes Tech. Uh, whoops, not rim. ROM reviews, click save, and that'll be on my lock screen now. So if I hit my lock screen, right there it is, Hayes Tech ROM reviews. So uh, that's how easy it is to put something custom, little a little custom note on your uh, lock screen if you want. Uh, you have your lock screen torch, uh, uh, display music visualizer, uh, your show weather, and of course your uh, wallpaper. Uh, let's see, buttons. These are your button settings. You have your nav bar buttons, uh, left-handed mode if you want it, show arrow keys while typing. Uh, these are your buttons in layout. You guys can physically change the buttons around by simply hitting that and sliding the buttons manually, grabbing and sliding them to where you want them. Uh, I'm going to put them back just because I, this is the way I run. Um, I'm not going to screw with it, but that's how you do it. It's that simple. Uh, nav bar dimensions, I think it's just 48 and 42. Uh, yep, 48. And 42 for the width. Power menu. Uh, again, just standard signage and mod. Uh, then you can uh, end call uh, by hitting the power button. Uh, then you hit power button twice for camera. If you guys want to use that, I kind of like it. Uh, wake up device. Uh, playback control. 
uh, control ringtone volume, and then of course your key guard uh, cursor control. Uh, let's see, security. Uh, it's got pretty much basic settings under security. Uh, the only feature that I use under the security is the unknown sources. Uh, and I highly suggest uh, if you guys are running uh, a, you know, if you're new to Android and you flash this, go here, uh, tick that on. Uh, that way uh, you can install something from your internal storage or uh, an app that you may have downloaded uh, from a buddy or whatever. You're not going to be able to uh, install it unless you have that on. Uh, and then, of course, you can turn on or turn off uh, device administrators uh, right here. And that is pretty much it for the settings. Oh, uh, it does come with uh, SE Linux Changer, uh, which is another nice feature about this ROM. Um, so the kernel, uh, the kernel, the supplied kernel that comes with it uh, must, I didn't try it, but it must uh, support uh, permissive uh, or they wouldn't have put that feature in there. Uh, let's see. Next up is going to be the status bar settings. You have your status bar icons. You can pick and choose what you want to show on the status bar. Uh, then, of course, your clock settings are going to be next, uh, right, left, center, or hidden. Uh, you have your AM, PM style, date style, date, you know, uh, date style. I guess the other one was date if you wanted it. Uh, date format. They have a lot of options to choose from for your date format. Uh, carrier label, if you want to run a carrier label up in your status bar, I don't. Um, you know, I, I just like the fact that they have their own little logo, uh, which is cool. Uh, battery status style, uh, I have mine hidden. I was kind of hoping that they were going to have the three-minute mod incorporated in it. Uh, they didn't. Uh, I guess they must have hit some, uh, they must have hit a wall with it. So, it is what it is. Um, you know, a battery bar, at least they have that. Uh, so I'm running the battery bar uh, with a color that's about with my theme. Uh, brightness control. Uh, you can throw up the uh, uh, vanilla unicorn shield if you want. Uh, super user indicator. Uh, show notification count quick pull down. And then of your, of course, your network traffic. Uh, I do like to have my network traffic showing. That would be another thing I would like to, you know, be able to color. But, you know, again, it is what it is. If all custom ROMs were the same, you know, it would just be one ROM. Uh, uh, let's see here. Privacy. Uh, it is signage and mod, uh, signage and mod based, so it is going to have privacy guard, block caller, caller list, your signage and mod statistics, uh, and then uh, protected apps in it. And I think that is about it. Uh, language and input. I'm not going to actually go through that. That's just your keyboard setup. Uh, we already hit developer options and about phone. Guys, that is it. Uh, this is Vanilla Unicorn V11. Um, the update, I think, was outstanding. I've been waiting for this update. Um, I'm not disappointed with it. I would have loved to have seen the 3-minute battery mod in it. Uh, but, you know, uh, I do. I get it. Uh, you know, development, it's pretty uh, It's pretty tough. Um, and uh, and I don't do it. So my, my hat's off to them uh, for what they give us for nothing, guys. Nothing. Uh, which brings me to another point. If you really like this ROM, uh, I highly suggest uh, maybe donating. Um, it just lets the developers know that you appreciate their time and effort, uh, and it helps pay server costs and stuff like that. So uh, it's a nice thing to do. You know, give them a dollar. Uh, it's not you know I'm not I'm not saying go out and donate 20, 20 or fifty bucks. Um, give them a, give them a buck. Let you know buy them a cup of coffee or something. Uh, just lets them know you appreciate it. Uh, at least go to their uh, Google community uh, or their um, their website uh, or their XDA site uh, and tell them thank you. Um, I, I highly suggest you check out their Google community site. It's an awesome site. Uh, remember, guys, if you like the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Uh, I want to thank all of my subscribers. Um, uh, my next project is going to be Broken, uh, broken OS. Um, I'm still trying to get a good video out. I'm having issues with the Substratum uh, theme engine, but as soon as I get that straightened out, uh, hopefully a couple updates from Substratum, I'm going to have that video out too. Uh, so when that comes out, uh, I will see you then. So you guys take care, and I'll see you on the next one.